All right, so 11 of your 14 birdies came on the front nine this weekend. So how do you think you uh, that your approach was on the front nine different or just? Well, I've been, in my past tournaments, I've been starting out really good. So I don't know whether it's just been luck or I've just been hitting some good shots early on. Putts have been falling. And then when, once one falls, it just gives you momentum to keep going. So I think I've just been starting out with a birdie almost almost every time on my first hole, especially with the drivable first hole, I've been capitalizing on that. And since this is only your junior year, how do you think winning this inaugural tournament and just like you said, you've been starting out really well in all your tournaments, how are you going to carry that momentum with you into your senior season for the AJGA? Uh, well, I have a pretty busy uh, junior season, but so hopefully have a great rest of my year and then just keep trying to get a good game plan going and hopefully the balls fall in the hole. <laughs> what was something specific you came into this week uh, trying to work on and just kind of worked out? Well, I, was, I worked with my coach a couple weeks ago, Alan Terrell at TBC Myrtle Beach and kind of we worked on some connection things in my swing. So I was trying to practice that on the range as much as I can. I felt pretty confident with my putting coming in and it stayed pretty solid throughout the week. So I really wasn't worried just about that. I was just worried about staying connected in my swing. So I think I did that pretty good. And how do you prepare kind of on the flip side? How do you prepare like your mental state going in? You said starting strong is really important for you. So how do you make sure that once you're getting ready to start, like your headspace is in a good place too? Uh, well, just kind of hitting the first tee shot and going from there. I mean, you're just out there having fun playing golf with, with your friends. So just make sure to hit a good tee shot and leave yourself a good approach in the first stall and make your putt. What are some specific goals that you have coming into the, or going into the rest of the summer? Uh, some goals, I would say just to maybe uh, make the Wyndham Cup team, Junior Ryder Cup, but just play some good golf and have fun, meet some new friends. and. Have fun. Thank me. <laughs> uh, so Ben, yesterday was your birthday. It was kind of a crazy round. Uh, I mean, how does that prepare you to come in with the lead today? Uh, well, it was a phenomenal round yesterday, but I really wasn't thinking about that. Uh, just try to recenter myself from all the excitement uh, yesterday and. Just come, come in with my game plan that I made the night before and it was completely different knowing where the pins would be and just try to st just stay focused on winning the golf tournament. That was probably the most difficult thing. So what will you remember the most about your 18th birthday? The thing I'll remember the most was winning the, the inaugural team TaylorMade Invitational. My first Invitational win and truly blessed to win it. What was your, I don't know, one memory from the week that stands out besides a win? One memory? Mm -hmm. Honestly, the fire that happened, I know it's sad, but the fire that happened, I just, it's still burning. I just remember it. Could I jump in with a question? Yeah, sure. How embarrassed were you and everyone saying you happy birthday yesterday? Uh, I was pretty embarrassed, but it was also very nice. I mean, it's, it was very nice. Uh, I was just happy everyone was there to be with me on my birthday, which was nice. You talked about, um, so your dad's here this weekend. Talked to your mom last night. Have you talked to her yet today? I have not. So she's going to call right as we get in the car. So I'll call her right on my way to the airport. And I'm sure we'll have a long conversation. Where are you going after this? Uh, I have my U.S. Open final qualifying in New York. And I will be at Setchfield for the Wyndham. So. And then finally, if you had to pick one hole What's your favorite hole from this golf course? Taking away. Favorite hole. Favorite hole? My favorite hole would probably be number seven right here, the par three over water. I think it was a super tough hole today, and it's just a beautiful hole in general. You could see for miles out, out there, and I played it very well for being how challenging it was. I almost made a hole in one. So. Actually, I have two more. Um, did you talk to Luke about his round today, or are you aware of how that went? And I did, yeah. I mean, I was super happy for him. I really enjoyed playing with uh, Luke and Tommy the first couple days, who are my good friends. So I was super happy. He, he was actually hitting the ball very good. It just His putting let him down, and obviously it didn't let him down today. So I'm very happy for him.
And then lastly, I know we talked about this already, but just from a final round perspective, um, you know, inaugural big new tournament for TaylorMade this weekend, open the summer, you know, great venue, top field. You just talk about what, and we're going to do it as soon as the wind stops blowing as much. But just think about what it, you know. Why is this such an important opportunity for you guys to kind of kick off the summer? Or just your thoughts on TaylorMade's partnership with launching a new boys event Memorial Day weekend. No, this was great. I mean, this is a super, super cool venue. I mean, Stream Song is an amazing place, and all the TaylorMade guys were super nice. Corey Johnson, someone I've known for a very long time, he's always there for me and a great host for the event. And really means a lot to me that Taylor made is the host this week. They're a really good company. And just what, finally, from your perspective and from the field's perspective, you know, adding a boys' invitational start the summer, you know, how do you guys feel about that? And, and just what does that mean for everyone's goals going into the season? No, we love it. We love uh, competing early. Obviously, I think the uh, Thunderbird was normally the earlier tournament. Uh, and Simplify was a very cold one for everyone, so I think a nice, hot, warm tournament was what everyone wanted here, and everyone played pretty well. The scores are very low. You guys want to go? All right, great job. All right, thank you.